about out of time, but we do have time, I think, for a viewer question. Okay. Uh, I got one later on. Here we go. All right. This is a question from Wayne. And Wayne asks, he said, I watched your video where you showed both the Mac and the XP operating systems on the same computer. You had a 500 gigabyte hard drive and dedicated 100 gigabyte to XP. And basically, we did this with uh, Apple's boot camp. Okay. okay. But you can also do something like this with parallels. But the question that you had was, uh, you said that you can't change partitions without a complete install. I have a MacBook Pro with a 200 gigabyte hard drive. I don't do a lot of music, video, photo stuff, but occasionally I put together a few photos or videos I've taken on a DVD. Knowing that, can you suggest a partition size for each OS? Um, I'm a recent convert to Mac, and so I prefer it to Windows, but you still have to work with Windows, don't you? Um, that's, that's it really depends good. on what you're going to do with it. Yeah. If you're doing like boot camp, and let's say the reason you're wanting to hang on to Windows is because you're a PC gamer, you're going to need a lot of space. You want to leave a lot of space because you're going to want to put a lot of games on there probably. So mm -hmm. a good idea is take a look at how much, how many files, how much space are you taking up of your hard drive on your Windows computer. And you can do this by right clicking on your My Computer mm -hmm. or your C drive. Your C drive under My Computer tab. Mm -hmm. uh, on Windows. And then you can say, uh, you know, get, in, get info about it. Get and it will show you a file showing how much of your space you've taken up. Right. That will give you an idea as to how big you're going to need to keep the same kind of performance mm -hmm. on the other computer. Now you want to leave an extra bit of space free. A good rule of thumb is to leave yourself an extra 10%. So let's say it takes me, um, let's say 50 well, let's gigabytes. Say, yeah, 50 gigabytes for, for my files. Uh -huh. Then I would probably want to leave an extra about 75 75 gigabytes mm -hmm. free. So I'd want a 55 is what I would oh. want, 55 gigabytes total. You said 10%. I'm sorry, I heard yeah. 20. <laughs> um, well, 20 is not a bad idea either because you're probably going to want to add stuff at some point. Right. And it's good to leave yourself a little extra room. A little room to grow, stretch out a little bit. I found for me, what I use Windows for is things like Windows Media Player and Microsoft Office 2007 or 2003 to open those types of Publisher. files. Publisher. Publisher, yeah. Access, database. So for me, I, I find 40 gigabytes is a nice, safe number. You can probably get by with 20, mm -hmm. but if you have the space, you know, maybe compromise with 30. Again, take a look at how many files that you've got, and that should help answer your questions right. for you a little bit on that. Right. Okay? All right, Wayne, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll be back again next week with more answers to your viewer questions right here on Ask the Techies. Bye.